All right, welcome to another video from the chart readers. It's actually one of my favorite ones. We will be reviewing the, the weed sector, the cannabis sector, the marijuana sector, whatever you want to call it, right? We have a number of tickers and just as always, right, we're going to look at the daily and the weekly. We're going to use our five moving average lines as well as these horizontal support and resistance lines that I manually draw. Again, 80% of the work is done up here and then we wind it down with these two lower indicators, the MACD and the RSI. I do prefer the RSI a little bit more than the MACD, but it is important for me that they're saying the same thing. You know, it's that little extra confirmation, right? And if you've watched my videos before, you know I confirmation is really important for me, right? I don't necessarily care about getting it right the first day. I want to be there on the third day when it keeps going up four, five, and six, right? So um, you'll lose more money when you're trying to get in on number one and two. Um, but hey, you're not gonna make as much, but again, whatever. I'd rather make safe money than um, gamble risky games. You get what I'm saying? So, um, hey, with that, if you haven't checked out the website, it's chartreaders.com. At the very bottom, there is a weekly email you can sign up for. It is completely free. All I ask is for your email, and then just let me know you're not a robot, right? But no name, no credit card, none of that silly stuff. So. Um, as always, I do like to start with the big boy, right? The big girl, whatever you want to call it. So it is Tilray in this family. And then, um, yeah, we'll go through the rest, right? So I made this last video on the 20th. And really, look, again, we've dropped another 10% in that week, right? So I, I understand that people aren't a fan of me, you know, bashing these, these stuff. Look, I, I sincerely believe the weed stocks will one day fly. I, I actually legit do. You just got to understand, I'm looking at daily and weekly charts. And, you know, if I can avoid 10% losses, hey, I'm doing that all day, right? And look, we made this video on the 20th. We had this line at 311. We've been trading under the 8. It should be no surprise that there was another 10% drop, right? Um, I think we do have one last line down here. We do. So the 250, right? And hey, it didn't actually hit there, but it got close. But the only real problem is, sorry to zoom out. You guys know I hate zooming out. We're pretty much going to go to all-time lows if we lose that, right? So it's actually an incredibly hard line that we cannot cross. And it's real sad that we got as close as we did, right? So um, again, I'm not here to bash. I'm just here to save you 10% or make you 10%. This is not financial advice obviously right but that's that's the game we're at right so um, I mentioned this on my on my crypto video right so there's an interesting curvature here and I do see the RSI green but see I don't like that it's it's still kind of down right I like that there were moments it wanted to fly moments it wanted to fly and hey look there's still an hour and a half of trading right I'm making this video before the close of market so um, I think it might be worth seeing if this curve is going to continue. But remember, I'm talking about maybe a day, maybe a couple hour moves, right? So um, just things to look for to try to make some money in a bad market if, if that's your game, right? Look, the weekly looks horrible. We've been over a month under the eight. This RSI looks bad. It does look like there are a few more bad weeks and it's gotten as low as a nine and we're still sitting at 36. So um yeah it does make me feel like this 250 number 260 is is maybe a, a couple weeks away if, if anything right so just be careful here with tilly um tilray looking a little scary acb aurora coming into aurora again this same curve interesting I'm, i'll be honest i've not looked at uh, at these dailies right if you watch these videos i, I really do this live um, I've said a couple times, right? If you see these videos, look at that cluster right there, right? How many moving averages is that? One, two, three. There's only five total, right? So you've got three of the five plus one of my manual lines. Don't don't play this until we get over 152, right? That kind of goes back to what I said at the start. There are look, look. Obviously, I've always said if you can get over the eight, hey, it's worth buying. This is clearly a safer buy because you're over all of this noise, right? So again, this blue line is going to be hard, but hey, I would feel comfortable riding this way more than this to this to this to this. So um, again, I hope you watch these videos and kind of understand when I, you know, talk about safer gambles versus, you know, going for the big money right away. So um, just some lessons I've learned in my early days, right? Again, ugly week. 
This one hasn't had as many under the eight, but look, that same real ugly RSI, and again, this one's only been a 10, but the the weekly doesn't look good for um, for ACB. So, and again, we made this video on the 20th, right? Uh, pff, could have saved you an easy 10%, right? Um, MSOS, I remember this one last week looked real bad, and yeah, again, it still goes. Sad, man. Again, this one's an ETF, so you can expect it to do worse when all the little individual ones do worse, right? Theoretically, it shouldn't do as horrible. So if the rest just like tank, this one is supposed to kind of balance out, right? But when they're all going down and there's nothing to balance it out with, that's when ETFs can get real scary, right? So. Um, this one, so I'm gonna look at the weekly because are we at all time lows? We oh, we've been at all time lows for two weeks now, actually. So um, yeah, again, you know, I say I hate after all time lows because once that happens, we're we're actually twenty percent down, right? It looks like we lost yeah two dollars instead of one, give or take, right? I'm kind of rounding, but um, MSOS and again, more than anything, don't don't put your money with something in all time lows, right? That's that's a it's a horrible place to have your money. Um, Hexo, hey, look, it's making a nice move. Don't get me wrong, but again, it's pretty much only moving a penny up, right? So this is the kind of thing where a penny will go up and it'll it'll make you some some percentages, right? Um, I'm not the biggest fan of really talking about this one. I just I know a lot of people care. And look, again, just like the rest, we're playing in this all time low sector, right? So um, the day's not over yet. I will put a new line wherever this does close. Um, but keep in mind, again, I'm only looking at two decimals. You definitely want something that, that is looking at four decimals. Um, so make sure you know how to trade pennies, right? But um, again, I know this looks like a nice 5%. I do know look, this looks like a good candle. Definitely will set a line. And hey, it's getting close to the eight. So it, it might be worth something. But again, just remember, it's a penny stock. Make sure you can see all the way. Um, I'm going to skip the weekly. But um, that curve is here too as well, right? So there's a couple that do have that that initial curvature that we talked about on Tilray. Interesting on CGC. So it kind of looks like this 271 was a bounce point, right? Kind of zooming out, you'll see there's there's pretty much no moving averages, right? So this was going to do a free fall. This 270 line, obviously not quite it. It went a little bit lower, right? But um, it did a nice little support job right here. I don't like that this RSI is starting to turn a little bit, right? I'm not too sure if I see um, if I see red over green or green over red. It kind of looks like I see green on top, but nonetheless, I'm a little worried that the bounce wasn't enough. But hey, check this one out tomorrow. This one might be worth the view to see if we can get a little push. And hey, look, at some point it did get pretty high today. It did get pretty high yesterday. So there was some inner day movement. I don't really trade inner day. I've got a job and stuff, so I can't really like look at this like as much as you need to for inner day. But um, excuse me, that is why I love me some uh, some daily and weekly swings, right? Excuse me. Ooh, two hiccups. Um, again, look, there are three weeks now that we're trading under both the 20 and the 8. And look at that 20 rejection. One, two, three. We'll basically call that four. Five rejections and a fail, right? I mean, that that pretty much makes sense. And look, I, I don't talk about candle patterns much, but if there's one I talk about, it's that right there. It's what they call a doji. So look up the doji. The doji definitely means uncertainty. And generally, it follows by um, some sort of confirmation, right? Like we see here, there was a week and then boom, right? It generally, it'll generally mean something big will happen. So, um, but again, I trade more about the lines than the shapes of the of the candles themselves. But hey, never never close mind, never, don't keep yourself closed minded, right? Look for different info, look what people say, look what they, you know, it, put it all together, right? Um, sandal, sandal is looking horrible. Do we have a line under two? Oh man, this is about to go to all time lows. Is that what I'm looking at? No, we do have some. Oh man. Okay, so let me make a few more lines down. Oh, so sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I really apologize. Yeah, right here. So I'm gonna make a couple new lines, but sandal is coming into all time low range. So be careful here. One. I think that's a really good one. I think that's it actually. I'm gonna scroll back to where we were. So, oh my good. So is there one under? Okay, there are now. Okay, so look at that. That's that's a pretty hard drop and then that's an even harder drop, right? It looks like I can actually make one more. I didn't quite zoom out perfectly. 
let's put that right there great okay but look right now we're sitting in the we'll call it low twos this can easily drop to the low ones very quickly so be careful um, and again, look, I don't like what this, R I'm so sorry to zoom, I, I really hate doing that. Um, that's an ugly RSI, right? It really, you can see the green kind of wants to start going and look, it's actually getting confirmed by the MACD doing the exact same thing, right? And how low have we gone? Yeah, we've gotten low before, so um, be careful with Sandal here. I'm gonna say that one more time. Looks like it's trying to hold this 222 line, right? But it's still under it, actually. Um, Cron, C-O-R-N. Interesting. Okay, Cron, again, has this curvature thing that I'm seeing across a few tickers. One more time, This I forgot what ticker it was. The safest place to get in is going to be waiting till 331 break. Why? There's resistance here, resistance here, resistance here, resistance here, resistance here. Wait to break this, and then that's a pretty nice channel. You'll either get here or here, right? So, um, again, don't play these risky channels. Play these open channels, right? So, um, again, not looking great down here. I'm seeing MACD down. I'm seeing red over green on the RSI. But this curvature, one more time, still there. And again, the, the test up was pretty interesting. So, um, watch it. Don't put your money in overnight, right? Put it in the morning if it's if it's good, and you might need to day trade it, right, to see just in case it doesn't um, doesn't do its job. So, all right, G N L N. Again, this is a new one that came from the comments. If there's ever a ticker you want me to look at, don't hesitate, right? I'm zooming out too much here. Look, I made this video on the twentieth. Again, roughly a ten percent drop since the last video. RSI does not look good. MACD does not look good. That's a pretty ugly doji right there, actually. That might even be called a hammer or some shit. Again, I don't really know the, the, the shapes much. But um, again, I'm not bashing this one. All I know is in the short term, this thing looks bad. Been under the eight for so long on the weekly. I mean, there, there's a lot that needs to happen, right? In all honesty, I really wouldn't touch this. I mean, there's a couple good channels here. I guess I would wait till at least a break of the 20, which is this, yeah, 226. So, um, look, I hope you're learning. I hope you've stayed till the end again. But um, there are some scary times looking up, right? So just make sure you know what to do, right? Either sit on the sidelines and wait, look for these little like pockets of curves that you can sneak into if you see them. Um, but again, otherwise, just be careful, right? Trade safely. I really hope you're learning. Have a good one.